All right, everybody, Wolf Fang here. It is Thursday, February the 22nd. What a day. Right now, we are sitting at 53 degrees with rain. And they're saying that we're going to have uh, some heavy downpours here in a little bit. It is 4.41 p.m. And I guess the uh, heavier stuff is supposed to start coming in, I don't know, they're saying like 5 or 6. And through the night, maybe we might get a few thunderstorms. That will be cool. I like thunderstorms. I like loud claps of thunder. Anyway, so as we all know, AT&T was shut down for a while. And my dumbass, I was like, who's our provider? I heard it on the on the radio going to work this morning that uh, AT&T cell towers were down all over the place, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, man, that kind of sucks for people that have AT&T. We have AT&T. So, <laughs> anyway. So, well, how, how long could you go without a cell phone? Now, I'm not going to get into all the conspiracy theories. Oh, it's been hacked. I do think it was hacked. Um, I, I think there's something amiss. But, uh, so, I guess AT&T went down last night, um, because like I said, I, I'm up at like quarter, quarter to six, and I actually didn't hear anything, because I turned the news on, on the TV, and I didn't hear anything there, and then when I was driving to work is when I heard about it, so I'm like, okay, so I get to work, and, uh. I'm like, okay, let me check my phone. I put my stuff down. I go outside and smoke a cigarette. Well, I went to shoot a text to a, a friend that I know that's up that early. And it on my text, it said, uh, uh, trying to connect or some shit like that. So then I, I look at my uh, internet connection, whatever, the signal, and I have nothing. I'm like, oh, fuck. So I guess I got AT&T. But <laughs> anyway. So it, it really didn't... The only thing that I um, kind of stress with my wife's health, you know, I like to have her text me when she gets up in the morning. And then we text each other throughout the day. Other than that, um, during the day, I use my phone to listen to uh, talk radio, the news. So, obviously, I could not listen to my news reports this morning. And I'm like, man, this kind of sucks. So, as the day progresses, I'm still, you know, I, I didn't get service until, I want to say, maybe about 1 o'clock this afternoon. But I was like, damn. And it did come up for a minute. And then it went back down. It did that to me twice. I was like, okay, well, <clears throat> just whatever, deal with it. So at lunchtime, uh, my, I take my lunch at 11.15. I went into the office to use the, the phone, the landline, because we have a landline here at home. So I called the wife at lunch, and she's like, oh, yeah, I did see something about that last night. I just didn't pay any attention to it. I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, because I go to bed before she does. But, uh, so, my, my question is, could you go, at le let's go one day. Could you go one whole day without using your cell phone? Let's go one day. I mean, and I do believe that AT&T got, uh, I, I think it was a cyber attack. I, that's my opinion. I think that's what happened. But could you go one whole day without using your cell phone? Uh, I probably could. I don't know. We didn't, I didn't have cell, 
hell, I didn't have a cell phone when I was 20. 21, 22, 20, I'm thinking, let's see, I was in the service when I was 24, 20, didn't have cell phones. I can't even tell you how old I was when I got my first cell phone. But uh, my wife had made a comment to me. She's like, man, I bet these teenage kids that had the at and I bet they were tripping. Ah, I, my mom, dad, I can't, I don't know what's wrong with my phone. <laughs> But anyway, uh, but how long could you go without your cell phone? Like I said, we do have a landline, and I'm thankful that we have that. That you know, I could call home and 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 check up on my wife. But uh, it made for an interesting day, and there was a lot of guys at work that. I get, you know, they're like, oh, well, I don't go through at and I have Verizon or this or that. And I heard, I guess, Verizon uh, was having trouble. And I think another service. But it, it was more AT AT&T. And AT&T's been around for, damn, quite a long time. So you can't tell me they don't know what happened. I mean, for it to be pretty much uh, across the board nationwide... You know, from Texas to Ohio to wherever other states were hit, they said uh, something like over 73,000 people. Now, that's just your cell phones. Now, what about health care providers, uh, your, all your business people that, that need their cell phone and they can't get a hold of their customers? I mean, it, it made for uh, a, me a messy day, I bet, for a lot of people. But once again, like I said, and, and leave a comment. Could you go at least one day without your cell phone? I don't know. I think I could. Because um, I just, like I said, I uh, text friends, you know, text them back and forth. Um, there's a few people I chat with on the phone. But other than that, that's... I, I have a, uh, a Garmin GPS, so I don't even use my phone as a, a GPS. But yeah, it, it made for it made for kind of a fun day, I guess. But I was jonesing for the news, so I I found out I today I am definitely a, a news junkie. And don't don't hate me for that. <laughs> but anyway, I hope everybody has a great Thursday evening. This is Wolfang. Blessed be, stay safe, and uh, experiment. Go one day without your cell phone and see what, see how you are. Everybody take care, and I'll talk to you later. <laughs>